first thing I have to say is that uh, this is um, this is incredible. This is um, an obvious show of support uh, for a uh, teammate, a classmate, and somebody that is a part of obviously a wonderful, wonderful school district and a wonderful, wonderful uh, athletic program. So I commend all of you being here and uh, your show of support for Sammy and, and this accomplishment is, is very, very much appreciated. So I believe that you all deserve a round of applause for yourself. Thank you. I, I get the opportunity to speak on behalf of uh, Sammy and, and her accomplishments. And, um, and I could go through, I mean, list after list after list of accomplishments uh, that she has done on the basketball floor. And um, from the time that she was a freshman up now that she's a senior. And, and if I were to do that, we would be here way longer than we are allowed. Uh, her, her, her accomplishments on the basketball floor speak for themselves. I'm going to concentrate basically on this year. Uh, some of the things that she has accomplished just in her senior year. And um, you can go back all the way to her freshman year and you can continue to add more and more of these types of accomplishments. This year, Sammy basically broke the Mason High School career record for three-point baskets hit at 190, all right, over her four years, and hopefully we're going to get some more. She also broke the single game scoring record of 38 points when she scored 40 points in three quarters. She has the career best three point shooting percentage at 48%. Most players hope that they shoot 48% from 10 feet and in. She has the career three point shooting percentage in the last two seasons. She has the career best free throw percentage over four years, and she has shot over the last three years at 87, 88, and 89 percent. She will finish her career at approximately 1,600 points in her four-year career, which is going to make her second in the history of Mason girls basketball. She will also finish at around 280 steals, which will again finish probably around second in the history of Mason girls basketball. So not only does she score points, but she also plays defense, which is something that I think sometimes gets lost in her prowess on the basketball floor. This year, Besides being obviously named a McDonald's All-American and playing in the McDonald's All-American game, she's going to play in the Ohio-Kentucky All-Star game. She was just voted as the District 15 Player of the Year, which she will play in the Ohio North-South All-Star game. She was first team All-GMC and voted for the third consecutive year as the Player of the Year. In her career, and I think this is one of the more telling signs of her success, in all four years, she has been involved in 90 wins and only 16 losses. That says quite a bit about not only the success of our program, but obviously the success for Sammy. She's been to two Final Fours, Narrowly missing a third Final Four when we lost in the Regional Finals. With all that I've mentioned and all that I've said about her just this year, there are a lot of other things that I could talk about her in regards to the basketball successes. But I think what speaks more volume about Sandy Puisis is that she's a coachable player. She's been a good teammate. She's been a good friend to all of the teammates.
teammates that she's played with. In this world of overpriced athletes and me first attitudes, Sammy remains someone who is grounded in hard work and in just being a good person. Long after basketball is over, Sandy's going to continue being a good person who is going to give back to the community and society. I cannot tell you how proud personally I am of her and her hard work. Our program is proud of her, and we are hopeful that we will have another McDonald All-American sometime down the road, but today we're going to celebrate that this is the first and only McDonald All-American. Congratulations, Sammy.